Welcome to Jesus Calling for October 20th. I am your living God. The scripture is Psalm 139, 14 and 1 John 1 verse 7. As you know, I love Psalm 139. I'm going to start with verse 13. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I just love that. And then 1 John, the chapter title is Walking in the Light. We're just going to start with verse 5. This is a message we have heard from him and declare to you, God is light. In him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Here we go with verse 8. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins, and purify us from all unrighteousness. I am your living God, far more abundantly alive than the most vivacious person that you know. The human body is wonderfully crafted, but gravity and the inevitable effects of aging weigh it down. Even the most superb athlete cannot maintain his fitness over many decades. Lasting, abundant life can be found in me alone. Do not be anxious about the weakness of your body. Instead, view it as the prelude to my infusing energy into your being. Oh, I like that. Let's read that again. Do not be anxious about the weakness of your body. Instead, view it as the prelude to my infusing energy into your being. As you identify more and more fully with me, my life becomes increasingly intertwined with yours. Though the process of aging continues, inwardly you go stronger with the passing years. Those who live close to me develop an inner aliveness that makes them seem youthful in spite of their years. Let my life shine through you as you walk in the light with me. That was really good. I like that. Don't worry about your aging body, which is good for myself and all my friends who are 50 and above, 55 and above, 56. So I like that, that it's just our bodies breaking down is the prelude of him infusing us with more energy and love from him. And then we just think about our heavenly bodies, right? And so this body won't even mean anything when we're in heaven. So don't worry so much about your body, although you still want to try to be healthy and work out and drink water and walk like I'm always telling you to do. However, we should focus more on a relationship with him because that is what's going to last and that's what's going to be forever. So if you're feeling a little broken down with your body, it's okay. He loves you still and he's going to give you the energy you need and just focus on your relationship with him. And I hope you have a wonderful day. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to JesusCalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, NancyJoyToYou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for him today. See you tomorrow.